Hey guys, welcome to Man City Fan TV. This is Kiam and this is another episode of FIFA Knows. And this week, Manchester City are of course playing against Norwich City. And I'm going to play a FIFA game to try and predict the score of the actual real life fixture. So, as you can see, the players are lining up. And let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can predict the out outcome of the actual game. So I'm going to take a look at the uh, the City team I've gone for is basically Edison in goal. I've gone for Kyle Walker at right back. I've gone for a centre back pairing of Otamendi and Stones. I'm hoping John Stones is available. Left back is Zinchenko. I've gone for a holding midfielder of Rodri. I've gone for David Silva. So I've actually dropped Bernardo Silva. I've got a feeling Pep may drop uh, Bernardo Silva just to give the guy a bit of a break this week. And then on the right-hand side, I've got Riyad Mahrez, Sergio Aguero up front, and on the left, Raheem Sterling. So here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do in this game. So so far, Norwich having a little bit of the play, and I think it's going to be a tough game actually uh, tomorrow. I think Norwich will put a bit of pressure on us early on I think the crowd are going to be up for it so we're going to have to keep possession and obviously with us missing Laporte we're going to lose an element of control because Laporte is pretty comfortable on the ball at the back so we might lose a little bit of control when it comes to keeping possession but against Norwich I mean let's be honest we've got the quality we should be going there getting a victory and coming away with all three points but you never know but here comes Riyad Mahrez then, crosses it in. Nearly got through to Sterling, Rodri into uh, David Silva. Oh, David Silva hits the bar. David Silva smacked it against the bar, great shot. Nearly made it 1-0. So do hit the like button, guys. Hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. If you hit that bell notification, you'll get all of the Man City Fan TV content. Uh, do go ahead and look at our FIFA content there's lots of fifa content on the channel so if you're a fan of fifa there's a career mode and there's going to be lots of content coming through for the new uh, fifa 20 also for this week please go ahead and look at the premier league predictions video so martin and i sat down and we went through all of the fixtures for this weekend and predicted the results so some of them you may agree with some you might not take a look at that video it's on the channel but on this video, we want to uh, try and predict the result of Manchester City's next Premier League fixture against Norwich. And so far, you've got to say Norwich here are putting up a good fight. We've not had that many clear openings. I mean, Silver's hit the bar. But here they come. So we're, I must admit, we're coping with them quite comfortably at the back. It's a bad pass there by De Bruyne. I say we're comfy with Puki. Puki's in and Puki makes it 1-0. Oh my days. It was a shocking pass by Kevin De Bruyne. Straight into the feet of uh, the Norwich midfielder. Played the ball through and that man Puki ran on. Scored a goal. The Norwich faithful go wild. And we're a goal down. So let's hope that isn't a sign of things to come guys. We don't want to go a goal down away at Norwich. And that man Puki, who's been on fire this season, is the uh, man who gets the opening goal. So we are in trouble in this game. We're a goal down, 29 minutes on the clock. So plenty of time to turn it around, but not the start we wanted at Carrow Road. So here we go. Let's see if we can uh, just step it up a little bit. We've not played that well. Raheem Sterling gets in round the back, crosses it in. Leroy Sané, no, it's not Leroy Sané, sorry, he's injured. Riyad Mahrez. You can tell I'm, I'm used to playing with Leroy Sané because I just assume that Sterling and Sané are on each wing. And we have a Riyad Mahrez in there today. I do think Riyad Mahrez will get a chance. I think he's earned a chance. You know, he's had a good start to this season. I think he's uh, worthy of a chance. I know he had a great African Nations as well. 
So, uh, yeah, I think he's worthy of having a chance. And I think Bernardo does need a bit of rest. You know, you can't play Bernardo all the time. I think we need to keep Bernardo as fresh as possible for the latter stages of the season. Albeit, in saying that, I mean, Bernardo, the guy is just a machine, isn't he? The, the energy he's got, he could probably play every minute of every game and not bat an eyelid. But I don't know, I just... I just think, away at Norwich, it's going to be quite a physical game. I want to try and protect Bernardo if possible. Great ball in, De Bruyne. Oh, Sterling there with a good ball. So we've got to step it up here now because we're a goal down. Riyad Mahrez. Oh, Mahrez there nearly turned his man. Nearly took him down the, down the line. Well, Norwich are holding out. They're holding strong. We can't break them down. They've got that goal from Puki. It's coming up to half time. On this episode, FIFA knows this is a regular series. We do this every week when Man City have a fixture. We will do a FIFA knows to see if FIFA can predict the outcome of the result. And at the moment, it's not going well, guys. It's half time, 1 0. That man, Puki, has got the goal for Norwich. And City have a little bit of work to do in the second half. So it's not been a great first half by any stretch of the imagination we've got a lot of work to do so let's see if we can uh, just up the tempo a bit here, get the passing a little bit sharper here comes uh, Otamendi so I'm really hoping John Stones makes an appearance tomorrow as well because Laporte being out is such a huge loss so I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm actually more gutted about Laporte being out than uh, Leroy Sané in all honesty Oh, Aguero there nearly put it through. I mean, you know, Leroy Sané is a fantastic player. But I think in terms of the overall team and the and the shape of the team, I think Laporte is a bigger miss because he just controls things at the back. He gives us that calming influence. So it's going to be interesting to see how we cope without him and um, with uh, Otamendi and Stones or even maybe Otamendi and Fernandinho. It depends on me. I'm not sure, I must admit, I'm not convinced about Fernandinho at centre-back. People were telling me he did really well in the game. Oh, it's a goal! Kevin De Bruyne's got his back in it. Rasping shot from Kevin De Bruyne there. It's one all on this FIFA nose. But yeah, people were telling me, you know, Fernandinho did great when he came on against Brighton. And I don't, I wasn't convinced. I thought positionally I was a little bit concerned at times. Although he's, you know, he, he's good enough to sort of recover and, and and get in there. I think against a better side, we might have struggled with uh, Fernandinho at centre back. But it's early days. He's only just played one game there, so you know I can't really have a go at him because he, he's, he's an absolute legend, and he? he's a fantastic player, and I'm sure he will figure out that role. But as it stands on FIFA knows, Pepe's celebrating. It's one all. Kevin De Bruyne with an absolute thunderbolt. And we're back in this game at Carroll Road. Let's see if we can go on and win it now. We want to take all three points tomorrow. We don't want any drop points down in East Anglia. Aguero there. Should have been a bit tougher. There he is. He's got the ball back now, Aguero. And Aguero's not had a great uh, game. I've got to say he's struggled a little bit in this game. I'm sure Aguero, in real life, will have a better game than you're seeing him have in FIFA knows. And Norwich here, good passing. To be fair, Norwich are a decent passing side. They've always had some uh, you know, good teams over the years, haven't they? I always remember back in the day Norwich played uh, European football. And I'm not sure if it was the Champions League or maybe the UEFA Cup. I think it could have been the UEFA Cup. And they played against Bayern Munich and a guy called Jeremy Goss. So some of our younger viewers probably won't even know who that is. But Jeremy Goss scored a fantastic volley. Look it up, YouTube it. Have, have a look up and uh, see Jeremy Goss goal against Bayern Munich for Norwich. It was a fantastic volley. And Norwich used to be quite a serious team back in the day. They used to compete for uh, Premier League titles, if I'm not mistaken. De Bruyne again, fires another shot, it's come out to Silva, there we go, it's 2-1 to City, De Bruyne again, fired the shot in, causing him all sorts of problems with that uh, right foot, 
came back out and David Silva, El Mago, he was the man who was alert to it. Straight onto the rebound and smashed it past the goalkeeper. It's 2 1 to City at Carroll Road. And that's more like it. That is more like it. Let's see if we can uh, maybe add another goal now. Let's just take the pressure off, try and get another goal. A bit of a cushion so we're not panicking towards the end of this game. On my prediction video with Martin. I uh, predicted, I think, a score of 3-1 to City in this game. Whereas Martin is a lot more confident than me. Martin went for a huge 5-1, so Martin is really confident. Oh, Aguero there nearly did make it 3-1. So I'm not trying to get my score, guys. Honestly, I can assure you, whatever this game ends up, it ends up. So... I don't want anyone accusing me of fixing it so that it matches my Premier League predictions. This is all random. I'm just playing the game. And we will see how it ends up. I don't know what that was. What's he give there? Foul on the goalkeeper. Strange decision. The play had moved on. It, you know, it moved on some way and pulled it back there for a foul. Here comes Aguero. Aguero with a shot. Oh, Aguero, Sergio Aguero, what a goal. Got hold of the ball there. Cut inside the pace he had just to get round the defender. And smashed it past the goalkeeper. It's 3-1 to City. At Carroll Road. After being a goal down at half-time. The quality has come through the second half. The boys have turned it on. And that's a fantastic finish. Look at that. Outside of the boot. Past the goalkeeper. And Sergio Aguero. Makes it 3-1 to City. Pepe's jumping around. Happy as you like. Let's hope we see that tomorrow, guys. That's what we want to see. And at the moment, we're on 3-1. I could shut up shop and be happy that I've matched the score that I predicted. But I won't. I won't. I'm going to keep playing. If I can get some more goals, I will. Maybe Martin's score of 5-1 might be more accurate. Here comes uh, Rodri. Plays it through. Here comes Sterling. Oh, Sterling, not the best finish there from Raheem Sterling. You expect better with Sterling. And yeah, that's one for Andy to uh, laugh at. Andy always laughs at my finishing with Raheem Sterling. Nice skill by Sterling there into Aguero again. Fires the shot off. Oh, he's hit the post. Rodri. Oh, and Rodri with the header and the follow-up. So unlucky there. Sergio Aguero absolutely smashed the shot. Went past the keeper and came back off the post. And then I think Rodri, to be fair, was offside on the follow-up. But in this second half, City really have stepped it up. Norwich, 1-0 up at half-time. Thought they were cruising, they thought they had it in the bag. But the City boys have come back in the second half. This one's coming through. David Silva fires the shot. Oh, could have been four. Could have been four there. We're moving into injury time now. Norwich are ready to... Get into the dressing room. They're ready for a cup of tea. They've been absolutely battered in this second half. Let's hope this is what we see tomorrow, guys. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And here comes the corner. The header and Otamendi. Oh, and Nico Otamendi there. Jumped. Nearly got a fourth goal off the corner. And it's going to be a goal kick to Norwich. We're deep into injury time at Carroll Road. It's 3-1 to City. And the ball goes up. We might have a chance to have one more attack if we're quick. De Bruyne. Not quite sharp enough there with that pass. De Bruyne would have been in a little bit straighter. He would have got that. And there it is. The game's over. It's 3-1 to Manchester City on this FIFA knows. The travelling City fans that have made their way down to Norwich are happy there. Pep's a happy man. Pukki got the first goal. But then City came flying back in the second half. And the end result is Manchester City 3, Norwich 1 on this FIFA nose. So I just want to say to everyone going down to Norwich, have a safe journey, guys. All the best. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.